history has shown you it is dangerous to be risky. So it's that thing of, like have you heard people say they want a healthy relationship and most definitely go for their male female It's because their subconscious mind is overriding their conscious mind. But once they are on the same page, you say you want it, you just go for it. Nothing even more to the natural, the universe made this patterns and made this for like, no, you just made it happen. It's like, more like a self-help mindset kind of thing. It's like more than spirituality and emotional It's kind of mindset. It's a bit of that you're coming from. Yeah, which is you want to get here, how do you make sure you get here? So how do you align your thoughts and your worldview to work towards that? Yeah. That doesn't mean to me, align your thoughts as spirituality. And that's the thing, and that's why I wrote the book, because I think for most people when they hear spirituality, they think of something mysterious. But in actuality, for what I have found, for what works for me, most of the time, spirituality is not as serious as it was. Anything that was regarded, something about the subconscious mind, think of someone who in the 1600s, there was no science, there was nothing to prove that there was a subconscious mind or anything. So anything that this state of trance, or maybe when you're subconscious, mind is sabotaging you, they think it's being 